Hello my friends, welcome to part 59 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on Ultra Difficulty. I guess this will be part two to the heart of the Nora quest that we uh, just finished um, in the last episode. Guys, it was just nuts. It was crazy. We fought through a Deathbringer, Corruptors, a crap ton of corrupted machines <laughs> and uh, loads of Eclipse. And it was so enjoyable, guys. It was great. Um, at the time doing it, I felt very stressed out because, you know, obviously the stakes are high. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I was scared one of the key characters that we knew from the Embrace may, you know, die. That's what I was scared of, um, you know, like Val or Sona. And I was, you know, it was just in the back of my mind. I hope everyone's going to be okay. But um, anyway, we fought our way through. And we ended up going through the main door in the embrace and it's so exciting guys i'm really hyped um aloy's got this kind of a chosen one godlike thing to her now uh in front of her people it was just an awesome cutscene, honestly my jaws on the floor was great all right guys without further ado let's unravel some secrets so i will do my best like i said to explore everything because I really want to... I need some answers, guys. That's the thing. Um, anyway, I don't think we're going to have any fights in here. This is just going to be exploration. So let's let's go on. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. <laughs> awesome. All right. So what is this? Okay, that's shut. Okay, that's the door we have to go into. And that's fine. I just want to check around here. What the hell is that, guys? Sorry, let me let me use that. To, I'm not going to shoot. I just want to zoom in. Those are freaking paintings. Oh, what the hell? All right, all right. Let's let's do some exploration. I'm sure we can look at that in more detail. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? It's purple. Guys, what's this? All right, anyway. A stranded figure. Guys, I keep getting these things a stranded this, stranded that. I don't know what the hell that means. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. All right, we need to get to the bottom of this. Um, first of all, what is this? There's a child hiding behind an angry robot. Is that anger? I don't know what this is. Look, I, I don't know, but this looks like somebody in anguish. And it looks like a child. Like they're trying to escape from something. Don't I don't know what this is, guys. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure what this means, but um, anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, data points, fantastic. Okay, let's have a look, guys. All right, what have we got here? So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? Guys, where's Gaia, though? I mean, this is obviously where Aloy was made. And, and you know, this portion of humanity, um, the Nora, etc. Well, the Kadra as well. Remember their legends? They came from the Savage East. So, anyway. So this was it. Where you were born. But why? All right, I need to scan that again. I don't want to carve the dialogue. All right, let's read this. Right, chamber B1001. Exogenic chamber B1001, birthing logged 3021 AP04 tasking. Basically, it's been instructed to stand by. <laughs> That's what it says on the last line. Okay, fine. Alright, what else have we got? There must be more, come on. 
This is insane, <laughs> guys. Whoever designed this, Jesus. Right, just station 39B1, I think. Right, spawning phase tasking complete. Partial reactivation, standing by alert. Viable zygotes in storage. Are they talking about Aloy? I don't know, but um, anyway. All right, there must be something else in here. Come on. What the hell is that? Fuck. <laughs> um, by the way, last episode, um, I didn't talk to everybody. I was just so excited to get through the gate. But uh, we're going to talk to everybody, hopefully. Hopefully it allows me to do so. What is this? Pharaoh? All right, anyway. And again, more paintings. Fox. Okay, that's nice. What does this mean, guys? It's like there's a robot. A humanoid robot. There's red to indicate anger or something. These are kids. And they look sad and miserable. Like they're being oppressed. What does this mean? Okay, all right. Look, here's, an, here's the opposite. There's a humanoid. It still looks like a machine to me. But these kids are happy. And there's a cat. There are cats in this world. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Uh, what's this? Actually, we'll look at that in just a second. Let's go in here first. Guys, this is insane, man. These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi-servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. I don't understand. Where was Gaia? Where was, um... Oh, anyway, anyway, that's why we're here. Right, nursery E9B1. Right, nursery E9B1, nurture phase tasking complete, nutrient stores depleted. All right, what could that mean? Guys, this, this is astonishing. It really is. Okay, I can't access this. There's a nursery. <laughs> Guys, in case you're wondering why am I quiet, I don't know what to say. I really don't. This is crazy. All right, so that's the nursery. Let's go up here. We'll check out this data point. I hope I don't miss anything. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim. I don't want to sleep, mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will. Oh my god, that is crazy, guys. Look, that person, what well, sorry, was not a person, it was a multi servitor. Do you remember back in, oh, I'm so sorry, Deep Secrets of the Earth? Do you remember when we were looking at. Forgive me, I'm not good with names, but um, Charles Brochard Klein, I think he was head of the Aleuthia project, right? He was saying that these servitors, they're not really supposed to be actual parents. Anyway, I'll have to watch that again, but um, why has this happened? I'm feeling disturbed as well, look, there's birds, okay, good. Guys, as well, if you're tuning in for the first time and you're wondering why I'm going so slowly, this is my first time playing this amazing game. So I'm going to take my time. I leave everything in timestamps. Forward it if you, if you must. 
but I'm going to take my damn time. <laughs> Just letting you know. And I'm still seeing cats. Well, could I, yeah, that's a cat, guys. And there's a dog. All right, good. Good. There must be cats and dogs around here then. All right, I don't know what this is. That's a bee. Oh, guys, this is, this is crazy, man. This is nuts. All right, let's move on. So we got four data points in here. Uh, oh, wait, there's one here. Let's have a look at this. Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! Where, where is she? Sorry, I didn't see the healer. Um, what happened? What? Why is it? <laughs> Guys, I thought there was supposed to be a learning archive. I, I am so confused. I really am. Okay, we'll keep moving on. Okay, it's the same painting as before. Uh, who, who is this? Is that Gaia? All right, look. We're going to go there in a minute. We need to have a look at these. Um... Okay, check it out. Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, call me crazy. I think the kids, the only uh, frame of reference in terms of education... I could be wrong, please correct me in the comments, but was it just the healer and the servitor? Are they the ones that raise the kids? Because that is pretty fucked up if that's the case, but uh, anyway, um... So this is... where they left? It's a mess, everything's broken or painted on. How long do they live here? Wow, the, the more that this episode is going on, the more disturbed I feel, if that makes sense, guys. I feel very uncomfortable. I'm scared to know the truth. Right, here we go again. Nutrient stores depleted. Kindergarten E9B1. So, kindergarten uh, alert. Multiple system failures. Right, okay, we're getting somewhere now, guys. But again, what happened to this learning archive? All right, we're going to see that data point in just a second. Right, another servitor, guys. Children, let's run a jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run a jump and go off steam. Guys, I think I was right. I think the only uh, frame of reference are these droids. I've got chills. <laughs> I'm not kidding, guys. This, uh, but I feel disturbed. I don't know if that makes any sense, dude. This is <laughs> this is crazy. All right, I know there's a data point there, but let me just go around here quickly. Again, the paintings. Uh, were they trapped here? And I don't know. They were described by the servitors and the healers or whatever. That, you know, the outside world is blue, green, etc. And they try to paint them. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm mumbling. Not making sense. But anyway. I have no 
choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave and you will learn. Brave? They were trapped here their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you would have that problem. Guys, so I gotta pause it there real quick. Okay, I was right, they were stuck here, they were trapped. This is a reach, <laughs> okay? I know you're probably all gonna laugh at me. Okay, they're obviously the, the first um, the beings, human beings, to be let out of this place, if they were trapped here for life, right? You will be brave. Is that why the Nora call themselves braves? Is that where that comes from? It's a reach, I know, and if I'm wrong, whatever, I don't care, but you know what? I'm gonna make theories, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so now what's our mission? What do, what do I actually do? All right, we need to go through this door. I hope I haven't missed anything, guys. I really do. And just one more thing, just before I go. Right, this is oppressing them. They're trapped. There's a door here, right? Or is that a door or mountain? I don't know. This is freedom. This indicates freedom to me. And there's a cat. <laughs> All right, um... Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Right, I get it. Okay, fine. Oh shit, guys, look at this. Oh my god, look at all his books. Junk and whatever. <laughs> this, this is insane. Oh my god. Perfect for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, no one could access this door except for Aloy. Stroke Elizabeth Sobek. Oh my god, there's a ton of. Um... So, what was this place exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. What? Why not? Why? Exactly. Yeah, I was just going to say there's a ton of screens and... Well, what looks like monitors. All right, look, we're getting some more um, data points here, guys. Where do I even start? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day, your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn, so much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard, the charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it, but it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Guys, I have to admit, I have to look, look, I love Aloy. I wanted to succeed. But on this one occasion, I have to agree with silence. It's just you know, bigger things at stake. What the hell happened to Apollo? This is, well, whatever the reason, whatever the reason, this is why humanity is now tribal. And there was no food left. We were raised by servitors. 
who are just basic androids. They're not really there to be educators and... <sighs> Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. This is this story. This chapter actually has been quite disturbing. Hello, child. My name is Samina. It's the same thing. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Hello, child. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that's getting annoying. All right, let's go. It's a big day. Your first day of school. All right, guys, let's check down here. There must be something else. To learn. So much promise and possibility. I can see, guys, I can see why Silence is pissed. Yeah, I can see why uh, Silence sounded really frustrated. Uh, th wow, this should have been open for the kids to learn from. Oh, my God, can you imagine? There's even more animals they can reawaken. Um, they're stored as zygotes. Remember that um, the Artemis, I can't remember his name, uh, Charles Bronson or something, and he was saying that how... Uh, what did he say? How did he word it again? Okay, for the next generation, me meaning, you know, um, everyone being released from Eleuthia, being educated from Apollo, will be in charge of releasing more animals into the world you know i don't know if i'm making sense guys but if i'm not whatever <laughs> anyway let's go through here okay what's that mean that sounds important all right yes i suspect we're about to learn a great deal I'm scared. I'm scared to find out the truth, but here we go, guys. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. No. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. Yes. They are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What is it? Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. 
you will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. O-M-G. Fuck, guys. So... You're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured. No, you're, no. Born in destruction. Oh, Aloy, stop it. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Holy shit, guys. This this is... <laughs> yet again. Yet again. It's This game is just... It never fails to blow my mind. It, it, wow. It's so guys destroyed i'm sure well she sorry i'm guys my my brain is going in different directions i'm sure we can reboot her right right what's this right operations log okay something to read all right i'll just read this briefly e9 inhabitants e9 is eleuthia isn't it eleuthia 9 inhabitants released cross check complete sealed i'm also looking for oh my god guys i know what that is you know where it says 23 26 and next to it will be mr 16 whatever 14 23 is the time obviously 1423 that's the year 23 26 <laughs> i couldn't look i'm sorry guys if i'm wrong i'm wrong whatever but okay cross check complete e9 sealed data archived operations suspended now look at that jump so operations suspended remember guys look at that jump we're looking at about let's say 700 years later if i'm right about this uh, th the year 3020 g prime order received aluthia 9 runtime uh recommenced uh g prime store query process gestation order received uh, E9 initializing alert G Prime offline. Guys, that is now when, um, what's the name? Gaia got destroyed, I think. So now I understand. At all, next we're getting confused. You remember, guys, if you've been following my playthrough, I, it was always baffling me. What does that G, G Prime thing mean? What does it mean? So G Prime is where Gaia was. Alert. Uh, E9 nutrients depleted. Zygo, zygote banks depleted store file lk1a145 viable so that must be elizabeth so uh sobeck's genetic code i think and check it out guys waking multi-serve to b123 alert multi-serve to b123 power malfunction okay what's this right multi-serve to say so it's that droid that must have put aloy outside of the gate i um yeah that big door sorry b123 repair tasking uh, process B1001 chamber repaired. Okay, good. Gestation initiated. E9 power save initiated. It looks like a year later. Okay, in uh, E9 run runtime recommenced. So it's still trying to correspond with G Prime, and G Prime is gone. But it sent the order please create Elizabeth Sobek aka aloy uh, this is my theory guys please in the comments i'll be interested to know if i was right or wrong about this 
Okay, um, Hamas serve to B123, alert Hamas serve power malfunction, repair repair tasking, okay. Accessing G Prime instructions. Right, Hamas serve to B123. He's really having a bad time. <laughs> Transport tasking. Right, E9B1 hatch unsealed, okay. That's Aloy. Uh, posi positioning successful. E9B1 hatch sealed. So that's when Tirsa and all those, um, stupid old bitches found Aloy outside of that door crying etc like she said back at the proving or whatever alerts multi-servitor b123 power malfunction e9 sealed operations suspended it's all over that is it now so last breath we gave birth to Aloy so we can end up here to see Gaia's message so Aloy, you are very important and stop feeling sorry for yourself, honestly. Um you're a badass. Don't don't forget that. Okay, guys, is please there must be more. There has to be more. What's that? Okay, nothing. Identiscan malfunction rectified. Eluthia 9. Group 1 access unsealed. I was right, so E9 was Luthia 9. Okay. Uh, in case you're wondering why I kind of remembered about the other alphas, it's because, you know, when you're editing, when I'm editing these videos, it gives me a chance to go through the footage again, and I pick up on things I may have missed when I was playing. Guys, I'm not taking a risk, because that's going <laughs> to be like a bottomless pit. So... No! Oh, my God, the exact thing. I was trying not to... Oh, guys. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, let me just get a potion. Oh, God damn it. All right. Sorry, where am I going? Am I going upwards? Guys, there must be a reason for me to go down. Let me just see if there's any thing to collect here. Oh, there isn't. Okay, I'll, I'll speed up the footage. Guys. Oh, I fell from there. Ignore me. I'm so sorry. No, I fell from the very top. Going to be interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to explore up there, but that's where we actually came from. All right, guys, we got to face whatever's out there. <laughs> I hope it's not Deathbringer, but let's see. Aloy, forgive, forgive. Fuck you. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise Aloy! Anointed of the Nora! All praise Aloy! Anointed of the Nora! Up! All praise Aloy! Anointed of the Nora! First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped! I'm not your anointed! I don't belong to you! There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora! 
Make way for Make Aloy! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. All right, guys, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to interrupt any dialogue. I'm going to speak to everybody here. I did recognize some characters from the beginning of the playthrough. Um, and, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. You know when Val said, how can we help? That, <laughs> that, that got me. I shed a tear. I'm not going to lie, guys. I shed a tear. That was so powerful. She was first an outcast, and now she's like some supernatural anointed chosen one she doesn't want that man you know oh, anyway anyway i'll go into that another another time but guys i'm still recovering from what we learned down there in eleuthia um but we're going to speak to everyone our tribes people right i was right okay. the mountain that fell we will show them that we endure all right guys let's start with not her yet let's Let's start here. Wait, who are you? I don't know what to say. I, you're, you're anointed. Okay, she's just a general NPC. Was, I've never seen anything like that. I don't remember who he is, guys. I'm so sorry. Of course. I've never been inside the Sacred Mountain. Until now. Does that sort of thing happen here a lot? I feel a bit dizzy. May the goddess guide you in your journeys. I recognize it, but I just can't remember exactly where from. Aloy, how did you do that? You entered the heart of the mountain. And again, I can't remember who she is either. It seems you have a special role to play in events. The goddess favors you. The anointed will I think my place is here, closer to home. She has seen the wounded ten times over. But I wish you well. I nearly lost hope before the anointed saved us. She could do anything. Even destroy the corruption years, beyond the sacred land. Can I like not do such a thing? Guys, God has chosen you, Aloy. Have you seen the anointed? I don't remember these people. I remember faces, but I just can't remember what quest or whatever. Inside the mountain. Right, they're generic. Who are you? You're generic. I'll speak to them in just a second. Who are you? Ah, fuck you. I'll speak to her, but yeah, I'm not really. She's not a priority. Lanzara. God damn it. Okay, Jazz. Uh... Oh, Sona! I will lead a war party to Meridian. You have my word. Alright, I was hoping to have a fuller conversation with him, but it's okay. Right, who are you? Yarn. Now I see it is no wonder that you saved Nikoa. You, Aloy, are favored by the goddess. They say she came from. Jan, I remember this dude. Okay, he I remember him because uh, Nicola was mentioned. That's the broth. No, um oh, well, I don't remember exactly, guys, but her anointed will cleanse the land of You said that. She's the anointed. <laughs> Shush, she's the anointed. We'll go to Meridian, Aloy. I'll bring Mother Spear. Arana. Your father is right. You belong here. You both do. Oh my god, this is our very first side quest, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I remember this now. Oh my god, the memories. I think that was part three. How did you do that? Right, who were you? No one. She's the anointed. She went into all mother mother. All right, we tried to speak to Sona, but we couldn't get anything else. Okay, who were you? It's still hard to believe. You are an outcast one. And now, no I'm not sure what you are. May the goddess protect us all, Mother Brom, I remember. This is also another side quest, guys. <laughs> no, I want to speak to Brom. Hey. There's still corruption in the world. Ah, can't talk to him, guys. It's okay. No worries. Okay, anyone else? Aloy, how did you do that? Yarn already spoken to him. So I'm working the room, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to come back to... Okay, there's... Okay, we'll come back to the matriarchs. Spreads beyond the Ugh, let me get this out of the way. You stupid bitch. Anointed. I misread the signs. Forgive. I told you, Lanzara. I'm not your anointed. 
The killers will be forgotten by the Well, that's it. I'm sorry I didn't see you correctly. You still don't. I don't think you can, Lanzra. Forgive me. Off your knees, Lanzra. Start living on your feet with your eyes open. Aloy, as you commanded, <laughs> eyes are open. Good. Now why don't you try keeping your mouth closed? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're shitting me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right gorilla games thank you for this this is actually awesome all right all right anyway oh my god that, that's awesome no jess is nice she's cool um no she's all right she i don't think she was all on board with aloy being good or whatever my life has been long but I've never seen anything like that. Tiersa was right. A blessing, not a curse. We were so unsure. The killers mm. did their worst, but by the will of the goddess... All right, I... Okay, it's fine. Let's speak to... Tiersa. Aloy. How kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. So, guy, oh, Rost, okay, I need to speak to her about this, but just, just before I do anything, guys, I now know what the last boss uh, potentially is going to be in the base game. We may have to fight a Horus Metal Devil, basically. You know, those gigantic squid things. So uh, it looks like we'll have to fight that. But anyway, um, let, let's do Nora first. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister Matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. All right, guys, I've been waiting for this um, since the beginning of the playthrough. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story, why he was made an outcast. He never told me, he said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh, yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Look, I'm sorry, Tessa. <laughs> I know you're trying to get out of it. But tell me. For fuck's sake. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago before the derangement, before the Red Raids. A band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Oh, guys, that's so fucking sad. Oh, I kind of know where this is going. 
Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the Braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Fuck. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Fuck's sake, guys. That's awful, man. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious, in agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo, and reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So, Rost never finished his mission. To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast. All right, okay. Yes. We offered to do so on the condition he never speak to anyone of this 
exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace, so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. Guys, this is awful, man. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, Tirsa, that's, that's quite a story. Rost loved you, Aloy. Oh, guys, I'm tearing up, man. I don't, I don't want to tear up. This is, oh, guys, this is so painful. In some small way, I wish I didn't listen to Ross's story. It, it's so painful that, uh, wow, what that man has gone through. But hey, at least he had Aloy. And this is why I'm kind of tearing up a bit, guys. He's not alive to see what, how far Aloy has come. It, oh, anyway, anyway, let me shut up. Let's, let's just. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Aloy. <laughs> That's I so nice. For you. Okay. I guess it can't hurt. Oh, that's so nice, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's really nice. And just one thing, we're uh, going back to this, right? Activate scan. Well, I can do it again. Oh, if I missed any collectibles. Okay, good. So we can return here. All right, guys. You remember Gaia's uh, message? It was such a gamble on her behalf. You know, with this thing cloning Elizabeth Sobek and hoping that the clone aka Aloy so much corruption. you know will everything work out for her to actually be here protect your on this very spot does that make sense guys because guy took a big risk I'm sure it, it was calculated and everything you remember that message um she was saying she's programmed not to interfere with the outside world basically she can't talk to the tribe and say her mother you know i need your help or anything she just can't interfere at all but she did say there is a you know population out there and they should raise you to maturity and eventually you're going to find this place but guys there was no guarantee of that <laughs> no guarantee whatsoever so it's quite astonishing that aloy actually made it here it worked out it did i gotta hear this one more time <laughs> Alright, let's speak to Val. <laughs> that cheered me up a bit, guys. Aloy. I don't know what to say. Say that you'll see me at Meridian. Of course. That much is simple. But the rest. Complicated. I know. But maybe if I took you into the heart of the mountain. No. At least. Not yet. I don't know. Please don't think less of me, Aloy. But the goddess chose you to see that. Not me. Right. All right, very, um, I think we've already spoken to him. Yeah, we spoke to him about this in the last episode. Guys, 
I hope, it's just me hoping, but I hope Val and Aloy at least date in the next game. I think they'll be great together. You know, their personalities kind of complement each other. Aloy's very sassy, you know, very confident. And, well, we know who Aloy is, guys. We've been playing with her since, what, 100 hours or so. Val is a bit calmer, but he's very courageous. And, I don't know, they kind of seem very good together, in my opinion. But anyway, see you, Meridian. I'll be on my way then. I always knew you weren't like other Nora. Neither are you, Varl. Maybe if we survive all this, I can show you what I've learned. What I'm learning. Perhaps. If the goddess so wills it. See you in Meridian. All right, now, this scumbag. Wait, who are you? Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> the tribe I served is gone. Soon I will be too. Good. The Nora have lost too many, Rush. But in your case, I guess they can lose one more. <sighs> Let's shoot his balls. Oh, I don't have any fire arrows, Tammy. <laughs> All right, guys, I hate him so much. <laughs> all right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed all that. So, um, I'm not actually sure. He's still on fire. <laughs> Look, I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next episode. However, I, okay, I may put up a poll. Um, you guys won't receive this poll until next week anyway. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask if you'd like me to finish the mountain that fell because i want to keep going because i'm so invested in this story i want to see it through and i do want to start frozen wilds and i've been told try not to do it after i've completed the main game i should actually do frozen wilds before so i'm going to put a poll up um or i may not do so i don't know i'm still thinking about it but anyway guys i hope this was great for you because this has blown my mind totally blow me away um Aloy is now the anointed no pressure <laughs> all right i'll speak to you guys in the next video guys but this has been a lot and very overwhelming for me but i loved every minute of it take care see you in the next video